Whenever you see a company that is constantly pushing identity politics, is always putting the woke agenda front and center, and of course has to take every single opportunity to virtue signal about how progressive they are, it really makes people wonder what's actually going on there. And of course, the very same people you're pandering to or that you're virtue signaling towards are then going to hold you to this ridiculous standard that you're setting up for yourself. And what always tends to happen for these woke companies is it backfires in a massive way. And that's already what we're seeing today for Bungie. It was just a few days ago that we talked about this tweet that went viral for all the wrong reasons for them, but for the audience, the fan base, they were absolutely crushing Bungie for this hollow woke virtue signal. Bungie. Being Latin slash Latina slash Latin slash Latino slash Latin X is more than just a location on a map, just as being Hispanic is more than the language we speak. We're proud to introduce our newest idea, Latin at Bungie. As you can see, it got annihilated. They got ratioed to hell, and then they got blasted even harder when people started calling them out because let's face it, nobody actually uses this Latin X bullshit except woke white people. Actual Latinos don't use this shit. They say Latino or Latina, that's it. They don't sit there and create all these ambiguous terms to not offend anyone. They don't give a shit. 99% of the people that you're talking about, that you're trying to pander to, don't speak that way. Then Bungie started hiding the very same people that they were trying to pander to in their replies. It was pathetic. It was bad. It reminded everybody of what they did not that long ago. Introducing Black at Bungie. They pulled the same thing. They did a little redesign, a little bit lighter shade for the fit and decided we'll do the same thing with the Latin population a few years later. Well, as we always say, those who preach the loudest, those who virtue signal the hardest, typically have the most to hide. So what do you know? Today, here's the headline out of Bungie. Destiny 2 and Marathon developer Bungie is currently being sued for retaliation and wrongful termination by a former HR manager who alleges she was let go when she raised a potential case of racial discrimination to her supervisors. And of course, what are all the comments mentioning? Their woke virtue signal from a few days before. How could Bungie do racial discrimination? They seem really in touch with the race after a Latinx tweet. Uh, after that Latinx and speaking Hispanic tweet, I'm not surprised. Bungie getting sued for discrimination less than a week after the whole Latinx tweet is the funniest shit ever. Biggest virtue signaling company on the platform makes sense. And we do have a little bit more details about this story. I'll be honest. I'm not convinced that there actually was some cover-up or any racial discrimination to begin with. When you hire woke activists, especially in the HR department, you shouldn't be surprised when they cause a lot of fucking problems for you. But this is what you get. When you as a company preach these values, these progressive values, we're so woke. We're going to push identity politics, Latin at Bungie, black at Bungie, discriminating against people solely because of the color of their skin when you hire them or make policies for them. You shouldn't be surprised when the very same people that you hire who are activists or the people you're pandering to who are activists hold you to that ridiculous woke standard that you've put out there. Let's dig into this. Former Bungie HR manager is suing for wrongful termination after she reported potential racial bias. Destiny 2 and Marathon developer Bungie is currently being sued for retaliation and wrongful termination by a former HR manager. In a complaint filed earlier this year in the state of Washington, Plaintiff Ingrid Alm recounts that she was hired by Bungie in May of 2022 as an HR manager, coming into the job with over a decade of experience. Just a few months into her employment, she says she was instructed to investigate the performance of a particular employee referred to as James Smith. But when she sat down to speak with Smith, so clearly there was a problem with their performance, he allegedly pointed out he was the only black employee on a team of 50 people and expressed he felt he was being singled out and racially targeted by his supervisor. When you create a culture of victimhood mentality that, well, it can't possibly be that maybe I didn't do a good job or something like that. It has to just be because I'm black. You shouldn't be surprised when these things happen. Alm goes on to say she shared this information with her supervisor and recommended that Smith's supervisor receive diversity training. So we want you to look into this employee because he has not been doing a very good job. The employee says, well, I think it's just because I'm black. And the, per the HR manager says, well, I really think you should undergo diversity training to this supervisor. Supervisor didn't take too kindly to that. She alleges her recommendation was met with hostility and denial. She, was, uh, she says she was told the individual she was recommending take training had been there for a long time and are highly regarded, and the recommendation was denied. During a follow-up, 
Alm was additionally told by her supervisor she didn't want to touch those conversations with a 10-foot pole. I certainly believe that could be the case. Following this, Alm alleges Bungie recommended terminating Smith's employment. Alm says she disagreed, saying it would be racial bias. There was obviously a problem with the person in the first place. I have no idea. What I'm saying is I don't necessarily take all this at face value, but when you are a woke company, when you hire woke activists like this, these are the types of things you have to deal with. When you create things called black at Bungie, we want to make our black employees specifically feel welcome. Well, you shouldn't be surprised if they get a little bit of criticism and say, I'm being harassed because I'm black. You have to save me. You can't fire me. Yeah, it's exactly what happens when you institute woke policies. This HR director approached Bungie's director of equity and inclusion, Dr. Courtney Benjamin. Benjamin suggested terminating Smith would be too risky considering the evidence and advised a written warning. You had the supervisor that gets extremely angry, supposedly telling Benjamin she didn't want her to think she was a racist. Alm then claims she was placed in the needs improvement category during a review and was told by her supervisor to look for an off-ramp, an exit from the job. Shortly after, Alm says she found her email in Bungie platform access cut off without explanations and despite multiple efforts to contact her supervisor, received no response. At the end of September, Alm was informed her resignation had been accepted, despite insisting she had not intended to resign and wanted to keep her job. She declined to sign a document stating she voluntarily resigned. So here are all the things that played out. This person is now suing Bungie because she says she brought a case of potential racial discrimination to the managers, to the supervisors, and they tried to cover it up and fired her instead. Who knows who to believe in this situation? Who knows what really fucking happened? But one thing is for sure, when you are a woke fucking company who continues to put out all of this cringe garbage and talk about, we love our black people, we love our Latino Latinx community, you shouldn't be surprised when all these woke activists decide to hold you to those progressive values, those woke values that you say you have at your company. This is funny as fuck that this is happening to Bungie just a few days after they had this failed virtue signal. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.